a returning gameplay. We are back with Beholder. Um, let's see. Continue game, new game. I don't remember where I left off in continue game. Uh, so we will... Uh, what is this? Blissful sleep. Okay, see, now I'm curious. I was going to come back and play Beholder just because I'm a little bit bored and I wanted something to kind of do. But what is this? New game. You know what? Screw it. Let's go elite. The Ministry of Care has announced it has finally solved the problem of providing decent retirement for our senior citizens. Why pay pensions to those who are no longer working and not serving our great country? How dare you! We are proud to present the innovative International Euthanasia Center. All citizens who are 85 years of age or older must report to the center within two weeks and undergo the blissful sleep procedure. What? Happy 85th birthday, Ministry of Congratulations. Uh oh. Beholder, blissful sleep. Apparently, the government makes you go night night after a while. Oh, is the ministry? Hello. Go ahead, get it. There you go. I'm forgetting how to play. Let's see. Um. Uh oh, I forgot that there's stuff here. Okay. Uh, pick up the phone and the conversation. Reference. Let's pick up the phone. Emergency call from the ministry. Dear Hector Medina, congratulations on your 85th birthday. 85 is a grand age, worthy of honor and respect. You served your great country well, and now it's your country's turn to serve you. You must come to the Euthanasia Center in 14 days to undergo the blissful sleep procedure. In the meantime, please put your affairs in order. Excuse me, I'm not 85 yet? This is like a mistake. There is no mistake, the documents are signed and the voucher for the Euthanasia Center has been issued. The order of your transfer from your current workplace to the Blissful Sleep waiting list goes into effect today. Thank you for your service. Have a good day. Oh, wait a minute. This is impossible. In fact, I... The line has gone dead. Oh, no. Uh-oh. If you're new to my Beholder series, um balls. <laughs> Dial the number, pick up the phone. We'll go ahead and pick it up. Ministry of Information Line. As part of the Population Genetic Purity Program, you must collect a DNA sample from every tenant in your building. Inspect each apartment and find, them, er, and find items that contain suitable biological material, hair, saliva, blood, and skin. A courier will come by in a few days to collect everything you find. What's the genetic purity program? The Ministry of Order authorized its, the genetic purity program a week ago. The purpose of the program is to identify citizens who are prone to betray the motherland on a genetic level. Ooh. Proceed. Okay. Everything the government knows. Find Klaus Schimmer's sample. Oh, that's who he is. Okay, so if you have seen my first gameplay, we initially start out as a family who has entered... Can I pause this game? I don't remember. Yes, I can. Okay, so we initially start out as a family who kind of comes in after... I believe it is, in fact, this character right here is uh, being handcuffed and taken away which is in the intro of the game, and of course our family is like judging him, and we're here to take over his job as the uh, the landlord, but we're also watching people, so we have to make sure everybody's following all the latest laws, and some of the laws are ridiculous, like you can't wear like a red tie, or you can't have books, or other really weird things, and there's a lot of life, not tons of life stuff, but there's a fair bit of life things that go on. Okay, so the government knows everything. We need to collect DNA samples of every adult resident in the building. So Klaus and Maria Schimmer, I believe they're in the top left corner um, on the first floor. Rosa Raddick, Mark Raddick, 
Jacob Manischik, Louisa Manischik, uh, George de la Torre sample, and give the residents DNA samples to the courier. So, <clears throat> the thing about this game is we can make choices. We can choose to basically uh, let everybody get hit by the bus that is the government, or we can try to help people subvert the government. See, Directive 612, uh, 6012, as of the year of 18... Uh, 1984, August 18, it's illegal to possess red caviar. So, any other forms of caviar are okay. Directive 611, uh, 6011, as of August 18th, hiding citizens aged 85 and older is now prohibited. So, we're kind of screwed either way. We can either follow the law and probably get the quote-unquote government good ending, in which we do everything the government wants, including probably report for our nap time, and if we choose to subvert the government, I imagine we're probably gonna we're, we're gonna be kicked out of this whole thing out of the uh, the building anyway. So what do I want to do? Is is the real question? I could follow all directives, or I can choose to not follow the directives. A lot of people are going out, so we're gonna bring our butt up here. There we go. And uh, we're gonna look first to make sure no one is there. No one is there. So, oh, where you going, you little monster? I think he went down below. Whose room is this? This is George? Yes, this is George. Okay, so, as the, uh, land, uh, as the landlord, we are able to enter- Oh, wait, 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 I forgot! Cameras! Cameras! How do I- how do I get rid of these cameras again? Oh, balls. Okay. He is right there, bro. Um, nobody's in these apartments. Oh! Maybe we can go down to the kitchen. Has anybody used anything that I can... This is... Zlata Shimmer? Hello! Return the greeting. Hi, kiddo. Hi, Uncle Hector. Can I play with your kitty? It's so cute. Do you have candy? I don't have any candy, but you can play with my cat. He's old, so you have to be gentle. He's old, so he will get the blissful sleep treatment soon? Oh! Uh -huh. <coughs> Perhaps. Then I'll be very gentle. They said on TV that the elderly should be led with kind persistence to that big building. I'll pretend our house is a huge palace. Ask about the game she plays, discuss the Manichix boy. Who's your friend? Marcus, our neighbor. He's fun and nice, and we were born on the same day. We played games. We played firefighters yesterday. But his dad took the matches away from us. He ruined our game. Your dad did the right thing. Matches aren't toys. You don't understand. How can I be a firefighter if there's no fire to fight? The whole point of being a firefighter is to make sure there are no flames anywhere. Then build us a sandbox. Nothing will burn in it. Oh, the courier. Hello. All right. The grand opening of the National Euthanasia Center was held yesterday afternoon. The senior minister of the Ministry of Care, Andre Borland, gave a patriotic speech about the duty of every citizen of this great country. Henry Orlovsky became the first visitor to the center. We congratulate the honored worker of the post office and wish him eternal peace. From this day forward, every citizen must go to the center within two weeks of turning 85 years old to undergo the blissful sleep procedure. This is not punishment, but a reward to true patriots for their lifetime of service. The Euthanasia Center is open to the public for tours Tuesday from 6 to 7. I don't know if you're getting my letters because there's no mail here. In fact, there's nothing here at all. The thought of traveling north on the railroad is no longer appealing. Nobody lives here. I'm in the middle of nowhere. If I'm remembering correctly, it's your birthday. Happy 65th, Father. I'm sorry I was rude to you the last time we saw each other. Oh, no. I can't provide you with a return address because there's nothing but open space for as far as the eye can see. We are 65. 
We have two whole decades. As of the, uh, it's illegal to possess any printed products featuring nudity. Uh oh. What happened to you? What's wrong, cat? Okay. Are you hungry, fuzzball? Here's your food. Meow! Hello, Klaus. How are you? Fine, and you? I wish I could say happy birthday, Hector, but given the latest news, you simply have my deepest condolences. I never would have guessed you were 85. You look much younger. The problem, Klaus, is that I'm not even 65. What? But how was I wrong? You weren't wrong, Klaus. The ministry is. Oh, so they'll fix their records, and you'll have plenty of time before having to visit the Horde Youth and Naser Center. Who knows? Maybe it won't even be around in a few years. I'm sure this is a temporary measure. There's nothing more permanent in our world than temporary solutions. The Ministry of Care called. They think their records are correct. And even if they realize they made a mistake, no one would admit it. Because the great state and the wise leader don't err. My god, Hector, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. It's my life and my problem. You've got enough of on your own plate. All we can do is pray nobody in the ministry spills coffee on the records that show your age or the ages of your children. So let's ask him what he wants. Do you want something? I would like... I would like to me a request. Okay, I would like to make a request, if I may. Go ahead. Zlata will turn six. Will soon turn six. I'd like to throw her a party. Ever since she saw the fireworks on the day of world happiness, she won't stop asking about seeing more. Can you acquire some for her? I'll see what I can do. Hi, Marcus. How are you? Hi, Hector. I'm fine. Good boy. Seen anything suspicious lately? Like what? Like enemy spies, or criminals, or aliens. Aliens? That's science fiction, and science fiction is banned. You're a smart boy. Stay aware, son. I'm more aware than anyone. I have a great idea. Let's build a sandbox. They're cool, and everyone can play in it whenever they want. I could play in a sandbox forever. They're the best thing ever. Unfortunately, Marcus, it would be nearly impossible to build a sandbox. All the sand we mine is used to build new apartment buildings. I doubt I could get any. But everyone needs a sandbox. Kids, grown-ups, everyone. Even your cat would love it. Do you know Zlata in Apartment 1? Yeah, she's awesome. We played ball the other day. She had a good time. We're a lot alike. We even like the same things. We both like the sandbox idea. Could you somehow make it happen? I'm sorry, but no. Stop asking, you little shit. Hello? Hi, Hector. I'm waiting for you to bring me stuff I need. Okay. You got it. So this is the other thing we can do. We can spy on people when they're there, and we can kind of make a note of what they're up to in the moment. Oh, hello. There might be some samples we can take. Nope, nothing in the washer. How about the dryer? Wow, I got money. Nothing. All right, let's go talk to this guy. Hi, cat. Hello, I'm Hector Medina, the manager of this apartment. Greetings, I'm Nathan Keller. I often pass by your building, so we'll be seeing a lot of each other. Do you take walks here? No, I'm working. I sell goods and information. You sell goods on the street. Why not? Fresh air is good for you. I like that place. We lived nearby when I was a kid. I saw Block 6 change. It used to be a luxurious villa. Too bad it's a communal apartment now. Ah, so you're the sentimental type, huh? Sometimes. Except when it comes to business. After the building falls completely apart, I want to buy it and build a brothel in its place. Look at your face! I'm kidding! I'd like to open my own store. I don't think that'll ever happen. I'm not gonna let that place fall apart. Well, you know what they say. Man proposes, the wide leader disposes. With your funding, it's just a matter of time before this place falls apart. Okay. Well, can you... Let's... Yes, trades. I have quite a few useful items for sale. Okay, well, take this comb, because I don't need it. Fireworks! There we go! Get my cat some cat food! I'm gonna take a screwdriver. And some candy. Yo, Klaus! I have other things for you, sir. Ah, oh, they got a little bed over there. Oh, what's this? Okay, she plays the violin. There we go. So that's how we can gather information on people. Oh, yeah, hi. Hello. Uh, 
Weather Family work fireworks. Here you go. Please be careful. I hope the quality is good. Unbelievable. You got them for $900. Thank you, Hector. I do like the, the shimmers, the slimmers, whatever. These good people, you know? Okay. Everybody is taking off for work. So this is our opportunity to... Whoa! Oh, Klaus. Hello. End this conversation. I'm not trying to do this with you right now. Everybody's outside. Uh, we'll look here. First aid, towels, old shoes, um, a robe, pocket watch. I'm not gonna take any of this at the moment. Oh boy. Come on. <clears throat> Green tie, chess. Ooh, pow! There we go. Marcus plays with cars. Cat, what are you doing? Oh, cat. Hello, cat. Okay, <coughs> provide the goods. Here's your food. There you go. I'm waiting to see if he was gonna come outside, but I don't think he is. He hanging out right there. Okay, Jacob smokes. He a smoker. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hector. I am the manager of this building. My name's Jean Orne. Do you know George De La Tour? Yes, I sometimes model for him. For some reason, he thinks I'm his muse. You look busted. You do inspire him. I find those kinds of compliments strange. I'm not used to hearing things like that. Still, I'm glad for the opportunity to earn some money, and George is a gentleman. He hasn't made any untoward advances or asked me to do anything indecent. Talk about her life. Tell me about yourself. Why are you interested? Persuade. I was supposed to know everything about the people who live in my building. It's my job. Fine, I was married once, but it didn't work out. Why? I was a good girl. He was a bad guy. I fell in love with a fool. We were such a cliche. It wasn't anything like in the movies. He refused to settle down. All, my all of my attempts to create a family environment for us angered him. Besides, my ex-husband was involved in illegal cockfighting. Ooh. Relax, YouTube as in chickens, roosters. While I happen to be a well-bred lady, that was a deal breaker. So why are you all busted looking? Once we were divorced, I realized I was financially dependent on my husband. Oh wait, is it a bandana? I thought she was injured. Is this why you work as a model? Yes, I have to earn my own living. It's not so bad. George is a kind man. I do think he's in love with me. That makes me feel sorry for him. You feel sorry for him? Isn't being loved a wonderful thing? Yes, but only when it's mutual. I'll never be able to love someone again. Poor George. So we can't do anything with these buildings? I mean, I don't think we can. Yeah, we can't enter them because nobody lives here and nobody lives in either of these spaces. So it doesn't benefit us to do any of that. Um, let's go ahead and observe. See if we can. I keep trying to figure out what's going on here. Ha, huh, so that's what she looks like to him. I got 30 hours to get these samples. She wants to drink and he doesn't want to. It's illegal to discuss the positive aspects of living abroad. All right. Okay, he's off to drink. Oh, he's thinking about wine. She wants beer. He's sophisticated. I thought she was a lady. Hi, cat. Just gonna make a phone call. Ah. All right. He drinks. The kids are playing. I feel like the kids are there all the time. This item can be used for DNA analysis. Take it. Perfect. How are you? I've been better. If you by chance have a bottle of imported wine, I'd feel much better. Oh, no, no, no. Mystery is banned imported wine. We don't break any laws. Sorry, that's not my best joke. Believe me, I'm on your side. I hardly drink at all. I'm glad to hear that. 
Hello, Maria. You look great. Oh, thank you. And happy birthday, by the way. Ah, uh, thanks. Have you seen the news? Thanks. Although, between work, chores, at home, and taking care of my kid, I don't have the time to celebrate. So I thought um, Maria and Klaus were actually a lot older than they appear, apparently. Or that or she's very young, compared to her husband. I barely have time to watch Patriots Cry 2 on TV, but the child wasn't around at the time, so where's this kid at? Not during the original gameplay. Um, ask about her family. Tell me about your family. Klaus and I met at a charity reception hosted by the Ministry of Finance to support our soldiers. I brought the best students from our school to recite patriotic poems. Klaus helped me arrange everything. After that, we spent the whole night talking about literature. It was like in the movie, Sparks Were Flying. Ours was lightning, actually. That sounds romantic. It was beautiful. I knew he'd make me happy. He's such a sensitive person. Only my daughter's birth was as important to me as meeting Klaus. We tried for years to have a baby, but couldn't. We were desperate and clung to our last hope, treatment in Valverde. Back then, we could still leave this country legally. Klaus obtained permission through his connections at the ministry. I'm glad it worked out. A child can brighten a colorless home. I felt that way when my son was born. Do you ever talk to him? He lives too far away. The letters I send him get lost on the way. What a shame. Hello, George. How's your job? How could you call this a job? I'm wasting my life on this drivel. Are you painting propaganda again? Yes, it's not exactly what I dreamed I'd be doing as I studied the works of the great artists and as I developed and nurtured my gift. I'm beginning to doubt I even have a gift. I need to be sure I could create something brilliant. And now, do I still have it in me? Only Mel Pomi. Only Mel Pomi. No, I don't even know what that is. I'm sure this job is temporary. You'll have a chance to show the world your talent someday, George. While I, George de la Tour, agonize in anticipation of that favorable time, any narrow minded gendarme or gendarme can drag me through the mud with a kick of a jackboot. The chastity of the ardent soul is at risk of dying on the vine of unscrupulous uncertainty. Obscenity. Excuse me. I'm afraid I no longer understand what we're talking about. Like the fates wave the web of human history, two people wave the thread of their conversation, not knowing where it will go. Who's the woman who's visiting you? You saw her? Of course you did. Who wouldn't notice a goddess like her? She's my beautiful model. Jeanne Orne. This enchantress has stolen my heart, Hector. All of my thoughts are focused on her, although she hasn't warmed up to me yet. Each obstacle makes my love that much stronger. Good afternoon, Mark. What's good about it? It could be better. My rheumatism has flared up. That's because you live in the basement. Damnness and cold are a, course at your, or a curse at your age. My age? I'm younger than you. Really? According to my documents, I'm 20 years younger than you. But how's... <gasps> you dirty dog. 